Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to best fit arcs of radius and compound radius or compound curves. Look up compound radius, you'll find something completely different on the internet. So, unless you're into guitars, so single radius, perpendicular line from the end of the wall to the end of the wall or whatever that might be. And uh, where those intersect, if they're the same, you got a single radius you can put in there. If that's 12 and 12, then you're going to have a radius of 12. That works on obtuse angles too. As long as those two are the same, it's a single radius. And on the inside too, whatever that radius is, a 6.47 would be the arc length. So dimension arc. No, that's not dimension arc, dimension radius. Whatever that is, that's what your uh, 6.47, interesting. 6.47, yeah, folks are 70. And that would be the same thing there. So no need to go into that. So what I, the reason why we started this is to just go over some of the stuff for compound curves. And that's just some basic stuff to get started. So there's a couple different ways to do it. There's a few different ways. There's trial and error. There's, if it's a 90, this works very well. It's a, uh, if the, the even though it's different as a compound angle, we can use uh, called an ellipse. It's double double arc or double circle ellipse method, uh, if that's what it's called. And the way to do that is let's just delete all this stuff. Delete and V. Let's go to black and zero width. Enter. So we have uh, that's what we're starting out with. So to start out, we're going to do an arc from here where they intersect. Same as before, except it's going to be bigger. It's going to be a 90 degree arc and it's going to be in a heavier line like that. So that's the red is the arc and where that arc meets this line, we're going to have a, a circle from this point to there. Now this line here, we're going to do break it into let's just uh, break it into two line segments like that four so now we have a this is two line segments right so then we can take this divided in the middle V V control K which is now that's the middle and then we're gonna go J A A away from that line and where it intersects this trim it to that this now a is our radius and we're gonna go let's call it negative 50 no plus 50 from there and that is where this and this intersect that's our first that's our first arc there's the center there's our arc it, it ends at that juncture and this is the same this is the middle six f3 right that line is in the middle of what's left over after that circle was drawn in there. So now we got to find this arc, right? So this distance and that distance are the same now. And that means we have one arc length of 7.5 can go in there. So we'll go A, F4. Let's change it to blue, nice heavy line, and then trim that to there, and that's our compound arc. So let's put that in gray. Well, it kind of goes away. We don't really want to deal with that, and that can go the same color. This is the red one and the blue one are the ones that we're looking for. And this red one and blue one, if those are circles, they never intersect. So let's do that. And F3, this one here. It's two circles that are, I don't know if it's called concentric, but they meet only in one spot. That there, they don't cross at that spot. They just touch. Right? Very close to be touching. I think there was a little air on the, uh, I'm not sure why there was a little there anyways that's how you do the two arc method so those two circles they just touch in one spot okay, this e trims to there and that's it 
control Z, 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 and there you have your two arcs. So now you can build your compound radius with a 7.5 radius and a 15 foot radius. So the next method is the same condition, 12 and 9, uh, except it's trial and error. So let's just delete all that. All right, so now we're looking for trial and error. So what we're going to do is we're going to have, we're going to extend this line down right here. About V4, enter, and move this up to there. So now this is its own line segment, right? We don't need that there. All right, the next method is trial and error. So we've got the same 9 and 12. Let's extend this line down more than what we think we need. We'll draw tick mark. To four sections is good. Make it a little longer so I can see them. And then what we're going to do is run horizontals from there. from there to the top but that's not big enough it's not passing that line let's get rid of it get rid of it okay go from here to there and arc let's make that 90 while we're at it and from the end the same thing so now you can see these are going to be the greater arcs and they're going to be different. So now we're going to go trim it, trim, and trim. So let's do the first one in red. And we're going to hit there and extend it to the first one. And we're going to trim that to there. V will go to blue, green, V to there, E, trim it to the next line, and then same thing there, E, from that line to the green line, trim it from there to there, and then last one, gonna trim it, let's make it blue. There, trim it. Oh, come on, really? V, blue, to the last line, and then trim that E. There. So let's go blue to there. Change it to green. And the last one is red. So now we have the large arcs, the up higher arcs here. And the red is going to be we're on red and where that red intersects the horizontal line. A, F4, arc. Now let's make it 50 degrees. Right there, trim it. Then uh, green, arc, F4, green, and blue. Okay, F4. All right, and all those three, trim it E to there. I think uh, E to there. So all three of those. I mean, all of those should be converging in just that one spot, right? That's what we're looking for. Tangent spot there, tangent spot at each one of those points, and tangent there, right? All right, so that's how you do it, trial and error. I mean, you can pick what you like, change if it 
adjusting the lengths of things that would fit on the crane or weight or uh, access. So you have some options. And they're all pretty close. The one that's closest here, the red one, that's going to give you the most room if you're looking for, to maximize your space in here uh, with a compound curve. And the, this one here we can do with uh, mathematics, uh, trigonometry. It's 90 degrees also, so it's a little simpler than some. Let's get rid of this. Get rid of this. We don't know what this is yet. Right? Delete. So let's just say delete, delete. Delete, delete. Oh, let's, we can leave this one. So we, what we've done is we've put an arc here, K, E, and then split that angle. So V, Control K. That's uh, almost exactly, almost right. It's a little different. So let's change it. Alt M, Alt M A. 26.565 f3 26.565 so that's the middle that's pretty common is to split this into two so let's do this run this through here and we'll change this to 26.565 and we'll go up here <clears throat> delete that that's not x uh, 26.565 Five, six, five. So that's the same thing that we're doing here. We're looking for this dimension where X is, H. We don't know what X is, so X is obviously not in the right spot yet. But we want the arc to, to land from here to here and meet up there, right? So obviously that's not going to match, right? So it hasn't matched up. So that's not going to give us the right angle if we connect this to there. So what we're going to do is calculate, find out what it is. <clears throat> so we're going to go, this is not correct, 26 point five six five, And then uh, what we did here is the same thing, y over x, x is the unknown, is equal to tangent of 26.565. And then we're going to substitute y with tangent of 26.565 times x. That's what we've done there, plus 12 is equal to 9 plus x. This is 9 plus x will be the same, so they're equal to each other, right? And let's do this. Let's just take it, copy it, and put it right into a solve or control C so I don't have to go through the algebra. And control delete, control V, and hit solve, and then wait for the answer. 5.99998, okay? So we're going to take that, which is 6. I think if it was control C, if the stuff I'd done was, uh, if I had to carry them out, it's 6. So what we're going to do is go get rid of this and offset 6. 6. And then this becomes a 4. Six. Now, if we connect this one uh, to here, and then we draw a line from there, E, to here. Now, let's just do the arc first. So let's put the arc in. Let's go red. Keep it consistent. And negative 90. I'm gonna get. Uh, that's the arc. Oh, what happened? No. It would have. There you go. So, and there's actually probably going to be a little. No, that is actually accurate because I didn't. Uh, I didn't change. I changed. I upgraded dated uh, 5.999 to 6. So it's exactly right. So there's our arc. So that's how you find sulfur. And then once you hit that, now that we know that that line there is going to intersect right there, and then we're going to go V to there. Let's make that red too. A enter. And then this is our first arc, so we can trim that. And then our second arc is A, make it in blue. And where that red line intersects, the horizontal line, F4, uh, run that, should have been that way. Control Z, E, 
control R and uh, check it again. Let's just do a circle, concentric circles. They never touch, they never overlap. They touch, they never overlap. That's the idea. There you go, down to this is uh, microns. Twelve decimal places. Point zero 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 five two nine. So there's a little area because of the math that's involved. Trig's never going to be as accurate as actually uh, just do it using the descriptive geometry. Unless you carry that two point six five five six five out to nth degree. That's how you do that. So that's a still ninety degrees, not too bad. Uh, this or F here. So here's the, let's do this. And this is same as the other one. We're just going to do trial and error. Delete. 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 All right. So same thing here. We just I did already. I left the tick marks, right? Random tick marks. Arc. And then let's go negative 90, positive 90. F3. Three. All right, so now we got those are already 90 degrees, but from there, V, J, S. Gonna hit that, trim it. V, J, S. Why don't we just copy that? All right, control R. So we know, let's trim them out. And that one there we can get rid of because we don't have enough to get our angle, almost, but not enough. Let's get rid of it. So trim this to there, this to there. So we're gonna have three. I think I added an extra one on the last one, but not necessary just to show you that you can have different radiuses and still have a good compound curve. So now we're going to go from here. Uh, I forgot. So let's change everything to different colors. V, right there, and then trim it to the to the very top one. All right. So Z, E, let's make that red. All right, and then blue, we'll leave that blue. Zoom in, E, trim, blue, and then this last one. Oh, I think I missed it. Blue, blue is the middle, right? E. And then this is the inside one. This should be green. So let's see where that ends up. V, e, E, trim it to the green one, E. So red, blue, green, red, blue, green. So now we're going to connect those. Let's do the green one first, uh, inside. The blue. And red. All right, so now we're going to take a, make an arc from the red A, F4, there. Should intersect there exactly. And then blue, A, F4, blue, trim. And last one is green. A F four there. Trim E. So there you have three different curves. Same as the other one, except this is on an obtuse and very similar. And uh, you can again, the closer this line here and this intersection point gets 
moves it this way. You had another one that was, let's say, uh, this was too small. So if we went K, J, S, same as those over there. And then we had a uh, arc from there to there. What happened? So control Z, arc from there to there. We have enough there, we can actually go V, F4 to there. Let's make this purple A, enter Z, trim E. I don't have the arc there yet. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Yeah, I do. E, this green one here. E, trim to there. And E trim there. Couple. And it just brings the curve in closer. And you can still get a good one. V from there to there. Enter. Let's make that purple. And put an arc F4. And then trim. All right, so that's how you would maximize your space. If you were in a drive aisle and you had to make something, mint maximize your drive aisle space, just to end up with a good tangent. You can get even closer, and it just uh, you can get closer and closer, and it's still always going to be a good, good compound curve. It, it might have a look a little sharper at the end, like a little bull nose, but it'll still work. So now here we go with uh, trig. So like we did the first one, we don't know that. We don't know this. And I don't know what that is. We know this angle. Control Z. What in the world? Looks like I got a little double line right here too. Oh, leg B doesn't really matter. Okay, so this is, I'm not sure why I'm not getting the uh, option for, oh, there it is. All right, so we have 15.311. And all this is stuff that you, is, is easy to calculate. I mean, it's, findable or it's just you straight out trig the harder part is the substitution here so we know we have 21.783 and 15.311 uh, 15 those are our two angles so y over x y over x is equal to the tangent of 21.783 and then we solve for y right y equals tangent of 21.783 times x so we're going to substitute that so 20 this becomes tangent of 21.783x. And same thing over here, just substitute with the 15.311. And then that and that plus this is equal to 12.617, which is that dimension, plus the unknown here, we don't know that, which is uh, x over d, which is the diagonal, is equal to cosine of 15.311. And then using some algebra, we can solve for D, which is this one here. And we can replace D with X divided by cosine of 15.311. Then, since that and that, now we're going to make them equal in this equation right here. So 12.617 plus X divided by cosine of 15.311 is equal to tangent of 21.783 times X and tangent of 15.311 times x plus 14, 19 point, uh, yeah, we don't know this yet, 19, 14.906, all three of those together, added up will equal these two together, right? That's what we're saying there. So now we're gonna take this, we're gonna copy it, control C, put that into the equation solver, And hit go. 
And we end up with 6.2989. So 6.2989. Now we know this distance here is 6.29. Two point two nine eight nine, and then you can plug that in if you have tangent at 21.783 times x substitute that for x let's do one tool calculator tangent of 21.783 times 6.2989 equals 2.517 and we should have that right here. 2.51, I don't know why that happened, but text, three decimal places, close, there you go. So we don't need to go 11 decimal places, five by seven, that's what we ended up with there. And the same thing goes there, and then you could do uh, x was six six point two nine eight nine divided by cosine of fifteen point three one one. And hit enter, and we end up with six point five three one. Uh, something wrong with that. I don't know what happened. Oh, here we go. F4. And then zoom in on that. Delete. What happened? A little bust in the drawing. So we should end up with 531. And we do. Oh, that's this one here. Zoom. And then that's why those calculations, that's the reason why they work. And they do work. And that's the substitution of why it works. And then, uh, so let's go and just try, draw this one out. So we end up with, uh, what are we trying to do now? We're trying to draw the arc, right? So we're going to go arc, start from there, 90. We're going to go, how about 50? And connect it to there. And then V, this is our intersection point, F4, to there. Enter, and I'm going to trim it. And it might not end up exactly on that red line because the 2783 is only really close. But let's do this, A, arc, F4, there. And this should end up exactly in the right spot. All right, you got a nice tangent point there. And like I said, it might miss that red line just a little bit. No, not really. So then that's how you do that stuff. And uh, that's how that works with the trig too. So if you're looking to, that's the best fit model right there. The smoothest transition from large radius to small radius. Uh, and that's how you do best fit radius and compound curves. I hope that helps you in your career. Thanks for watching.